Hey guys, let's see you there. Welcome back to Boss Class, episode seven. There's Master Class, where they teach you everything. And then there's Boss Class. <laughs> Anyways, for those of you who are new here, to check out our other bassoon tutorial videos, that I did another six episodes, there'll be a playlist in the top right corner. Anyway, today we're gonna be teaching you guys how to build a bassoon. Not with Legos. Uh, I want to try to build, uh, no one try to build. Okay. Uh, violin and melodica. But with actual bassoon pieces, which cost a lot more than Legos. I've laid together the order that you should be putting your bassoon together. So first, you gotta take your boot joint. Wait, you don't put it on that way, guys. Don't. Just put it near your feet, right? Then, then you take this guy. Guys, a wing joint. It looks like a wing. Right? It doesn't look like a wing. Maybe not. And then there's two holes on the boot joint because they assume you have two toes. You take the wing one and you put it in the smaller toe hole and then you just slide it in there. And if you take a look, the wing joint, you can see this is sort of like an indent right here and then the rest is circular, if you can see that. So you put the indent part towards the center, like this. So you put the wing joint in the smaller hole, you kind of twist it in and the indent part right here will be like right there. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Then you got the bigger hole, which you have the long joint. This guy's very long, so no one will ever forget his name. Anyway, and then he's circular all around, so basically there's one side over here, but there's like no buttons. That's the side you want to put towards the inside, and you just put it in there. But see, don't shove it in there, because in case you're putting it in slightly wrong, and just make sure you push it down, make sure this is stable. And then um, twist it a little bit, because there will be this little guy right here, which you kind of like, I don't know what this is called. The name will be on the screen if I find out. But basically, it's used to kind of lock these two joints together, the wing and the long joint, um, so they don't like fly apart when you're playing. <laughs> it kind of just rests on top of here and it's loaded with the spring. So you just kind of lower it and twist the um, long joint so that there's a hole in the wing joint and this kind of just lines up like that. It's gonna be different from some bassoons, but um, that's the way mine's is. All right, and then this is the bell. But basically that just goes right on top. As you can see it has like this one button right here. And you just line that up with this guy right here. And then you just sort of line it up as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Except if you have OCD. Also guys, my OCD is killing me. That sticker placement is gonna bother me for the rest of my days. And the final step, this is the vocal. I posted something on my Instagram about this. If you haven't followed my Instagram, go follow Boss Bassoon Official. Post a bunch of bassoon stuff. Anyway, kind of just slide that in there. It has to be at sort of an angle. So what you wanna do is this key right here, or you don't even have to press that key, but just press down this pad and make sure it can cover the hole on the side of the vocal. So there's, on the side of the vocal, there's this little hole, and that's for octaves. But basically, you want that pad to be able to cover the hole. So basically, just sort of slide it in like this, right? Make sure the hole is sort of at the same level, and just kind of press the pad down, make sure the hole's covered, and that's pretty much it. That's how you set up a bassoon. You put the reed at the end and get going. So anyway, I guess I hope that helped. When I first started, I had no idea how to put together this monstrosity. Mothra, who defies warplanes. Wrecks ocean liners. Smashes dams and bridges. Mothra, creating hurricanes. Mothra! 